Good afternoon, everybody. I am Kent Easton, the director of golf at Alpine Country Club. Would like to take a moment and congratulate our club champions from this past week. First off, the ladies' senior champion is Pat Malmstrom. We had a playoff for the ladies' championship between Kristen Wittenberg and Carrie Lawrence. Kristen Wittenberg came out on that, on top of that, on the second hole. Our junior club champion is Cooper Jones. Our super senior champion is Craig Peacock for the fourth straight year. Our senior club champion is Steve Bourget. Our 2021 overall club champion is Ron Davis. Congratulations to all of our winners and thank you for your participation. Hello golfers, my name is Brock Padilla, head golf professional at Alpine Country Club. Today we want to review how we are supposed to practice on the driving range and that's by using a linear divot pattern. When you look at this area here, there's a couple different types of divots that you're going to see. Over in this area, somebody has come through and they've hit a shot here, a shot here, a shot here, and basically we have this big bare spot. Now the problem with that is the grass isn't going to grow back as fast as we'd like. Um, when we say linear divot pattern, we want to do a line of divots straight back. And the reason why we do that is as we start another line, the grass grows inward a lot faster. And we're going to be able to use our driving range a little bit more efficiently. When I started practicing, my first ball was right up here on the front of the teeing area. And as I went through, each ball progressively moved backwards on that line. Now, when I'm done with this line at about this spot on the turf, I'm going to move up to here and start another line, but I'm going to have a spot or a line of grass in between my divots and the new divots. Members want to thank you for your time today. I know collectively, if we all take part in doing this type of divots, we're going to use our driving range a lot more effectively and we'll have better turf and a better experience when you're out practicing at Alpine Country Club. Hello, my name is Jake Ebner. I'm the golf course superintendent here at Alpine Country Club. I just wanted to thank everyone. We've gotten lots of great feedback so far this summer on the golf course conditions. We hosted the State Am in July with great success, had lots of positive feedback from competitors from the UGA, so thank you very much. As part of the State Am, hosting the State Am here, we received a free USGA site visit from their agronomist, um, covered by the UGA, and they just come out and evaluate the course conditions, discuss any areas that I might need help with, so that was a great um, opportunity for us to take advantage of that. They evaluated all of our putting greens, so what they'll do is take a profiler that goes down about six inches, take a an, uh, section of the green out, and then they evaluate root density, root length, overall quality of the green and health of the green. And we had great feedback from the USGA on the current programs that we, that we use on our greens and the quality and condition of our greens. Another thing we talked about with the USGA is um, irrigation in the summertime. We here at Alpine Country Club have wind that comes out of the American Fork Canyon every night, so that's a big challenge for us to try to put water down uniformly across the golf course. So there's a couple different strategies that we use um, to fight that. We hand water, and we also have certain kinds of sprinklers that we'll set out on bunker faces to help uniformly water the golf course with the little amount of water that we can. We have that USGA report on the website, so I encourage all of you to get on the website and check it out. There's lots of great information in there. I'm looking forward to the last part of the month of the summer and a great fall golf season. 